all I'm doing, John, is I'm just cutting. Literally, I am. Uh, there's no pre-preparation here. I am taking this exactly as you open the kit. So all I've done, I've cut right to the end. Uh, oh, make sure I don't cut my kit. And you see, so this is the outside and the inside. Yeah. I'm saying the outside and the inside. I like to think of them, John, as being reversible. Yeah. Right, there's my, there's my front and my back. Now, those of you who will be familiar with the design have probably, uh, you know, watched loads of tutorials and then it's a case of measuring next. Well, none of us like measuring, John. No. Um, you don't have to measure with these because they put all the measurements on for you. So can you see down the side, they've got all these little markings. Yeah. All you're going to do is you're going to fold those two markings so you're joining the two pointed bits together. So can you see if you've got those two pointed bits joined together, I've been joining them and then using our quilting clips to just hold that in place. So I'll show you on the other side. Um, the two pointy bits here, you're just folding them together to join the two points and then all I'm going to do is hold, the, hold it in place and then you see when you stretch that out you can come straight in and just give that a bit of an iron and it just means all of that measuring all of the thinking is taken care of so now i can just take these clips out you see and it's ironed the seam in exactly the right place and i'm going to do the same with the next bit again so you've got the next pointers and again i'm just going to fold them together and then give them a little iron i quite like these kits because i like the idea that um you know, just someone's done all of the thinking and they've matched up the backing fabric to the front. So you see, there's all my pleats in. Just realised I've got this one slightly off kilter, but I think it'll still, it'll still work to give us the idea. And then this one in here folds up from the bottom and yeah. you're going to give that a, that, that a nice iron too. So we're going to leave the bottom open, but we've got all those bits folded. Now I'm just going to do exactly the same with the second panel, John. Right, so can you see, so I've got all that stitched together and all I'm going to do is literally go right around the outside now. Now I like to sew, if I go this way, I'll be sewing over top of the pleats. So where are you, where are you stitching then? I know you can't talk until you're stitching down the sides eh, where the pleats are. I'm stitching straight down the sides. I am following the line that is on there. Oh, so the seam allowance is all, oh, yeah, the oh, it's all is drawn on for you. It is all built in for you and I like to just give it a little bit of a, little bit of a back go there. Yeah. And actually, if you're a little bit like me, John, and you're not quite... I'm not, like I said, I'm not a, a particularly advanced sewist. Yeah. So I just give myself a little bit of leeway. And so if you look, I'm stitching just just a tiny little bit off to the side of the line, just to allow for anything going wrong. Because it's one of those projects, again, if you're a complete beginner and you're just getting into this, just make sure I don't catch my elastic here, uh, it doesn't doesn't matter if you go slightly in because the measurements don't have to be perfect. Exactly. Can you see, we've got, I've got all the way around the outside and then I like to literally just trim off those corners and then it's as simple as we're done. So this just folds in back inside the other way. You can see there that we've caught into those edges and the whole thing just folds up perfectly. Now, it's up to you where you want to take it from here. Oh, at the weekend I was getting carried away and I was doing a nice bit of top stitching around these. I was doing a bit of stitching around the bottom. I tell you what I do like to do and I'll have to show you this, right? So when I've made them, if I'm doing them for myself, okay, I like to put them on. I'm trying so hard not to knock my earpiece out and also uh, not get lipstick all over it. But I like to put them on and then can you see they're a little bit baggy around here. So what I like to do is just take, like I'll, I'll just shape it in there like that. So you oh, can just customise fitting. Holding. Yeah, you see, oh. fit it to size. And then the same around the other side so you can just get it on. This is a really nice, snug, comfy fit, this one. And you can just again, Clip it round the back if you want. And then once you know where you're doing, oh, look, we've got lipstick all over it already. Um, but once you know where you're clipping it, you can literally come and just sew down an extra little piece. So I can sew down there. And now this is perfectly custom fitted to my face. So that's now custom fitted, perfect to my face. That is going to be just ideal for me. Or the ones that I did for the kids, you can see I did a little bit of top stitching when they've gone to bed. Um, but they are perfectly fitted with the extra pleats. And that is the square style. But bear in mind, you've got the choice of either the square one or the rounded one.